So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question, right? It's a weird looking question, but it's still a very short question. And simplified questions tend to be one to three lines long. So I'm gonna just I'm going to just simplify what I have here. So I have this 8x equals 12. So I know that I can simplify that by dividing by 8. And what I'm left with is x equals 12 over 8. But I can reduce both top and bottom by 4, right? Because that's the greatest common factor. And what I get from that is that x is equal to 3, because 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I'm going to get that x equals 3 halves. Now, the next uh, equation here that I can simplify says 2y plus 10 equals 22. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides, leaving me with 2y equals 12. Divide both sides by 2. And I have from that that y equals 6. Okay. Now notice that I'm doing all this without looking at the answer choices, really because if I'm following this simplified method, all I care about initially is the simplification. So now when I go back to the question and see, well, what am I being asked to find? It question says, what is the sum of the solutions? Okay, well, I have a solution that is 3 halves. I have another solution that is 6. So the sum just means to add those together. So 3 over 2 plus, I'm going to call this 6 over 1, right, just to make them both fractions. Now, in order to add fractions, I have to have a common denominator, which means on the 6 side, I'm going to multiply by 2 on top and bottom to make this 3 over 2 plus 12 over 2. Now that my denominators are the same, I can add the numerators together and keep the denominator the same um, because that's how we add fractions. So 3 plus 12 is 15, so this becomes 15 over 2. And I look at my answer choices now and I don't see any improper fractions. So I can say, well, how do I how do I rewrite 15 over 2 as a mixed number? Well, that would be 7 and a half, right? So I can look at it as 2 into 15 goes 7 times. 2 times 7 is 14. One remainder, remainder, and this turns into 2. I'm sorry, this turns into 7 and a half, right? So this 7 is where this goes. The remainder becomes a numerator. And this number here becomes the denominator. So I can look at it that way, making B the correct answer. I could have also said, well, 15 halves is the same as 7.5. And I know that 7.5 is the same as 7.5, right? So that's another way that you could have done that as well if you don't like the improper fraction to mixed number method. We also would immediately know that 9 and 10 cannot be correct. Right. And we could even just throw all we can throw the rest of these into a calculator and see which one ends up being 15 over 2. Once again, if you put that in a calculator, you get 7.5. So and then if you put this in a calculator, you'd also get 7.5. And the way we do that is just by saying 7 plus 1 half in your calculator. And here, for instance, we would have just said 17 plus 1 half. Um, so this is the only one that gives us the 7.5. So I'm showing you all these ways just because, you know, some people love fractions, hate fractions, prefer decimals, um, hate improper fractions, mixed numbers. There's a lot of things going on here with format. I just want you to see that there are multiple ways to approach this. If you don't like fractions, turn everything into a decimal, right? If you are okay with fractions initially, but then improper fractions mess you up, well, then turn the improper fraction into a decimal. There's always a way to get to your answer.